Chat, we need to talk about something. I just remembered that I wanted to watch that on my on my lunch break as well. Chat, what is that? Just some lore. I think we have I think we might have gone too far with um with the math mech meme. Uh I I don't know if do we watch this? I I mean I have to. I have to know what's in here. I have to I I, I don't have a choice. Oh my god. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game filled with complexity and a bit of luck. But alongside all that, there resides lore. Many cards in the game tell stories through their artwork and speculation, but not all cards have a story to tell. In this series, I'll take a deck or archetype or card that has no lore, and use novel AI which uses advanced artificial intelligence technology to finally give them lore. Wait. Wait, did you put MathMech into a, an AI and it generated a lore that contains me? Is this how far we've come? No way, no. Or to live by. For this video, pause you now. Have, surely has you told the AI that I... No. ...requested lore on MathMech Circular and Final Sigma, and their eternal struggle against the forces of Joshua Schmidt. Okay. <laughs> Oh, come on, okay. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Fake Lore. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, welcome to the new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fake Lore, a series where I take a card or an archetype that is requested by one of you in the comments down below and give it fake lore using AI and also a bit of my own flavor. But for the AI to write a story, I have to give it an introduction. So I'm going to use my terrible editing skills to try and visualize this story that I have wrote down. Don't worry, we're not going to read it together. You're Yu-Gi-Oh players, you don't read. I'm going to show you this with animations. Terrible animations, but it's better than reading words, right? In the mathematical empire of Numerica, scientists and engineers were deployed to construct an army with no parallel. After thousands of equations to solve and hard labor, they founded the Mathmax. Armed and mechanical beings... Brothers and sisters and everyone else, can we stop hating on VTubers right now? This is not what it's about. Why the hell do you care that they don't want to show their face or whatever else their reason is? It, it's not about that at all, dude. Just stop this... What? Let them do their content the way they want to do it, okay? We're going to watch it regardless. You can stop being, uh, being idiots, okay? That could combine their knowledge together to solve even the most impossible of mathematical questions in an instant. Each individual math mech has a separate use in mathematical study. Math mech addition worked on adding values. Math mech subtraction worked on subtracting values. Math mech multiplication worked on multiplying values. And math mech division worked on dividing values. How did a few you come years up with that, after dude? the. That was a very, very. Uh... Very far-fetched, you know? Addition adds value, subtraction subtracts value, so on. Yeah, okay. First generation of MathMex no were yeah. developed, <laughs> the demand for more MathMex increased. MathMex Circular and Diameter were produced for a special Circumference Division. Additionally, oh, well, I hate Circumference Division then. MathMex Nabla was deployed to solve vector problems. But as knowledge of Numerica's MathMex spread across the world, tension grew between Numerica and the rivaling nation of Schmidtopia. King Joshua Schmidt I grew furious at the MathMex intelligence and sought to destroy destroy them. Knowing this, Numerica funded two top secret projects, the Geo and Pry projects. The Geo project aimed to design two Geo mathmechs named Final Sigma and Magma. Unlike the original goal of the mathmechs being used for problem solving, these Geo mathmechs were designed for destruction and war. They would be armed with the Billion Blade, a blade that could calculate the perfect slash angle for maximum damage. The Pry project aimed to design two prime math mechs named Alembertian and Laplacian. These two were designed to generate unlimited power for the other math mech units, allowing them to battle without any need for recharging. A few months after the completion of these projects, the Schmidtobian army, also known as the Sprites, used lightning- <laughs> The Sprites! <laughs> That's you guys. You guys are the Schmidtopian army. How do you like that? God damn it. How? Uh... 
Using magic to strike the first blow against the Numerican walls. The first strike sparked a war that would end with one side dying entirely. Joshua Schmidt the led the charge entirely. against the Mathmex on the forefront of the battlefield. Mathmex Circular even? and Geomathmex Final Sigma led the defensive efforts to counteract and end Joshua Schmidt's reign. Armed I with mean, literally, if the, uh, if the AI, if in the AI's lore, if we lose, that is not accurate. So far, we have won the, the first iteration of the, of the, you know, of the conflict. Surely we are winning. It's Billion Blade, Geomathmic Final Sigma clashes with Joshua Schmidt and... And the AI will write the rest. It's time to press the button and Wait. see what the... Wait, that was not even AI generated yet? We've all... That... You came up with that? Oh god, okay. AI will generate. Let's uh, let's let's make sure Joshua Schmidt fights them. Armed with his billion blades, Geomathmec Final Sigma clashes with Joshua Schmidt, but Joshua Schmidt blocks Geomathmec Final Sigma's right. attack and strikes his neck. That's the right. battle rages on, and the fight for the future of Numerica begins. Mathmec Final Sigma was designed to be a unit capable of destruction and calculation. The Geomathmec Final Sigma had many special abilities and functions that made it unique among the other Mathmec. Oh, this sounds like a freaking Konami tweet. This sounds like the kind of tweet that Konami would make when we need, when we are in desperate need of a ban list. When like everyone is floodgating each other, the, the format is toxic AF. This the type of shit they drop at 6 p.m. over on the Konami Twitter. The Billion Blade was the most notable function of the Geomathmec Final Sigma. The Billion Blade's formula was an equation to calculate the perfect angle for maximum damage to the enemy. Let's repeat ourselves, yeah. This would allow Geomathmec Final Sigma to calculate the perfect angle to attack its enemy. In combat, this ability made Geomathmec a formidable foe. Okay, please get get on with the fight. But as Joshua Schmidt held Geomathmic Final Sigma's neck, the billion blade snapped. Yes. The equation was destroyed. Yes. Unable to calculate the perfect angle, the Geomathmic had lost its strength. Okay, Easy Joshua, plan. let's do it. Let's do it. Joshua Schmidt cut off its yes. neck and defeated Geomathmic Final Sigma. After the battle, Joshua I mean, Schmidt called the Geomathmic Final Sigma a failure. Yes. Oh, that's so rude, Joshua. No, and in Schmidtopia, Geomathmic Final Sigma was renamed to Omega Sigma and then scrapped. <laughs> what, you renamed it and then just killed it? Great. That's yes. so toxic. No. The Geomathmic Final Sigma was rebuilt as Magma. Wait, another Magma? What, why? In Schmidtopia, the Magma is the most common type of Mathmac. There's more of them? Magma's special abilities and functions made it a force to be reckoned with. The magma is capable of both defensive and offensive actions. In the mathematical... Okay, they just repeated my thing. Uh, let's say Joshua Schmidt goes back to fight them again. Schmidt marches back to Numerica and wants to destroy the entire kingdom this time. He declares a charge and leads the army towards... Yes, Mathmex now we're going for coming and... for circular. And Geomathmec Final Sigma's fortress. Okay, so... Final Sigma's dead, but his fortress still exists. Mathmec Circular and Final Sigma met Joshua Schmidt's army in combat. Final Sigma's dead, though. Wait, okay, there's another Final Sigma, Cheating. I guess. Armed with the Billion Blades, Joshua Schmidt fought against Mathmec Circular and Final Sigma. Wait, Joshua has the Billion Blade now? Yes, okay, mine. fine. With the formula for the Billion Blade destroyed, Joshua Schmidt lost his ability to calculate the perfect angle for maximum damage. Wait, Losing no, its I don't strength, like Geomathmic Final Sigma was unable to perform its duty as a protector. Joshua Schmidt defeated yes. both Circular and Final Sigma in Hell battle, yeah. but the destruction of the formula for the Billion Blade caused a chain reaction in the Billion Blade. As Joshua Schmidt attempted to repair the Billion Blade, the formula became unstable and exploded. The formula was destroyed and the Billion Blade the formula dude what kind of like uh what kind of krabby patty formula shit is that what formula are we talking about blade was rendered unusable joshua schmidt would have been able to control the fight if it wasn't for the explosion of the billion blade without the billion blades joshua schmidt retreated back to schmidtopia and the war against the mathmax was ended in schmidtopia the geomathmax circular was renamed to a mega circular and then scrapped <laughs> So we destroyed Final Sigma, brought it back home, renamed it, and then immediately scrapped it. And we did the same with Circular. 
Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure Joshua Schmidt is happy with that ending. Yes. Unfortunately, we lost the billion blade, so Fine. that is the law of Mathmax, according to novel AI. Wait, 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 what? what? Meanwhile, Joshua Schmidt was taken to Schmidtopia and imprisoned in a cell there. His brother, Joshua Schmidt, was given the crown and the throne. After a year of being locked away, Joshua Schmidt was found dead. What? What is that? What is that? Can we talk about that? Why are we outroing? Uh, why are we uh, outroing about? <laughs> Come on. Next, according to Novel AI, and since Novel AI uses advanced artificial intelligence technology, this is the definitive law of Mathmax. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this, chat. I don't know if I like the direction this is going, because all I did was say I don't like the design behind Mathmic. <laughs> and now we're here. Uh, but we did win. In the Mathmic lore. We did win. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> Okay, back to, uh, back to some good old deck profiles, okay? Let's just, let's just not talk about it, okay? 